morning. Today I'm going to real quick talk to you about the parts on the Porter cable drill press that we have here in the classroom. Uh, so I'm going to give you a brief synopsis of how these machines work and show you everything that you need to know. So starting out with the Porter cable, uh, of course we have the table here that's going to work and, and hold on to your actual workpiece. That's where you'll put your piece. Down at the bottom is the base that goes to the ground. Of course, this long shaft that comes right up here is called the column of the drill press. That holds and supports the head of the drill press, which is this whole assembly of multiple parts that we'll have to talk about. So, first thing I want to talk to you about what drives the actual chuck, this is our chuck, and right now I've got a twist mill in it. As we move this down, this is a quill on the underside of this, and of course that rotates as we go through. If we raise this up, and you can come on over here, you'll see that the chuck and the quill is actually driven by this uh, pulley system. Uh, belts and pulleys that give us the capability of going from 300 rpm up to 3100 rpm all with our one speed motor here but that transfers just by the rearrangement of the pulleys into different speeds that we can set all right here is the handle this is for our feed to move the quill and the chuck down as we drill into our workpiece Notice on this side, here is our rack and pinion gear and our handle to raise and lower the table if we need to. Now before we do that, there is a table lock on the left side of the machine that you have to loosen first. That's this part right here. We will loosen that table lock and then that allows us to uh, use the table lift handle to raise and lower the actual table. And we want to bring that up to a fairly decent level. Notice it's loose, so before we start cutting, we want to retighten that table lock and make sure that we actually get it clamped back in place. You don't want to tighten this too tight because that's just a cast iron housing. That doesn't need a lot of clamping force, just enough to hold it. That clamping force, if you put too much on it, may crack the housing, so we want to be careful. Other parts that you want to know about. Of course, here is the on and off switch. Uh, we do have a laser light on this machine that turns it on to give us center point. This is called the miter stop. Now, we've got a miter gauge here, basically that's this uh, zero to four and a half inch miter uh, gauge. And of course we can set this stop by pressing that button in and moving it up and down to limit the amount of travel that we have as we feed down into the machine. And that can be very, very uh, important for us to use, especially if we're drilling blind holes. And of course, we also have the light here on the left-hand side. Those are the different component parts. Make sure before turning the machine on that you always have the cover closed. Um, those are the parts on the Porter Cable Drill Press. Get to know all those so you know what you need to know for the test. Thank you.